Welcome to Epicore Eclipse Simplified, where every topic is broken down into a bite-sized chunk. Let's dive in. You log in on your first day and you see a blank screen. First thing you need to know is the main menu on the left is your lifeline. It takes you everywhere you need to go, but it's not the fastest way to get there. You can also create widgets. So if you go to orders and you go to inquiries and you go to inventory inquiry, you can click on user tools of any window that you open from the main menu and you can add widget shortcut. After that point, you do not have to go here anymore. You could be in the main menu. You can double click this and it opens it up. But what happens if your menu doesn't look like this, you're asking? Great question. Because Eclipse allows the IT team to customize this main menu. So you may not have this path. If you do not have that, you can search for what I'm saying by typing in partial terms. However, know that this search bar, which searches the menu path, does have a few quirks. For example, customer inventory history ledger. Right here, we can see it is in the orders path and inquiries. We can click on it or we can go to that path and find it. However, if I just type in an ROI here, all of a sudden it returns inventory inquiry, which is also in the orders and inquiries path. So sometimes you need to type a full word if you're trying to get there from a menu path, but there are a whole lot of other things you can search in this search bar. And you just need to know that you usually do not have to type the full word in. The next thing you need to know for day one are what widgets you actually need to survive. An inventory inquiry is the biggest one. We have to buy the product, stock the product, sell the product. We also want to add customer inventory history ledger. We also want to add serial number search. Go to maintenance. Back to the main menu, we click on AR and add AR inquiry. The second way to add widgets is by right clicking in the white space. You can add widgets based on the main menu shortcut. You can add custom cues, or you can add the widgets, which is what we'll be doing right now. From within here, you need to set your price branch and your ship branch. Your location. I recommend showing open orders, bids, AR orders, will call orders. Notice that you can also change your icon, you can change your background color, and you can change your size. Some sizes are available for certain widgets that are not available for other widgets. You'll see that later. You can also change the category. We recommend only having a home category for your first day. As you add job responsibilities, you can add categories and put widgets for specific job responsibilities. You also need to add a will call order queue. Add it for your our test branch here, leave writer, salesperson, and out salesperson blank. Let's make this one bigger. We also recommend a calling queue. We'll use branch, leave writer blank, and you'll see all the customers within your branch that have a calling ticket. We recommend setting this up for your writer. And you will only see your calling tickets so that you know to call your customers. We'll talk about what this is used for later. If you're a salesperson, then obviously you want to take care of all your customers and you don't care who wrote the ticket. So you would enter your salesperson name here and you would see all the calling tickets that are for your particular salesperson. The next queue we're gonna add is also called customer calling queue, but we're gonna change the name of it. We're gonna use our test branch, but we're gonna change the type to trouble. Recommend trouble days being set to one. You will now see every ticket that goes into trouble. And we need to make it stand out. We need to add close counter order. Let's just do a search.
and add it that way. We recommend this set of widgets for day one because it shows you your inventory information, shows you your customer information, and your vendor information. A contact can be assigned to either a customer or a vendor, and the customer inventory history ledger are the items that are sold per customer. You can also type an order and accept a signature and find other information out about current orders. Good luck on your first day at work. Please do note our disclaimer and do not get yourself into trouble by trying to do something you have not been trained to do by your own company. We always encourage you to ask questions early and often.